So friends, Tony here. Now in this video, I'm going to customize the view for the pages. So we are inside the state and if I click here, we have this view state details, which is kind of a form. So country and this is represented in an input, the same for the name. And I'm going to change that. I'm going to use the info list. So if you go to filament documentation info list builder, you can read more on the documentation, but we need to create this method inside the mine resource. So let's copy that and let's navigate in the state resource first. So I'm going to open the state resource and we have the form, the table, and after the table, I'm going to create this info list method. I'm going to import that. And also this is going to be a static method. Okay, now here inside this schema, we need to add the entries. We have a text entry, icon entry, uh, image, color, and a repeatable entry. Also custom, we have also layouts. And I'm going to use most of the time the text entry. So let's copy this. Also for the relationship, as you can see, is the same as the form. So we need to say the author dot notation name. And let's paste that in. So text entry, we need to import that. And we are inside the state. So I want first to display the country name. And also the name for the state. Now, if I save this, and let's refresh. Let's open now. Yeah, is we have more clean model, country and name. But uh, let's change notice the be state or state name, for example. So let's change the label. And I'm going to say state name. And also here. I'm going to add a label and say country name. Let's save and let's refresh. Open. Now we have country name and state name. Close. If you want to add also the created data and updated data, you can do that. We have layouts also. So let's use a section. I'm going to cut of them and say section here. And this section is from a filament info list. So section make, and let's say a state info. And we need to change the schema, which is an array with the text entry with or entries, not only the text, but if we have some other entries, for example, icon, image, or color, we can add there. Now let's see on the browser if I refresh, view, and yeah, here we have state info. So what we added here. And now as you can see, country name and state name is taking all the width. If you want, you can change that by saying columns here to be a tool, for example, save, come here and refresh. Take a look one more time. And now we have state info with country name and state name like this. Okay, let's close and let's do the same for cities. Now for city, if we navigate, we click, we navigate to the new page because we have uh, created. So if I open files and city resource, we have also the view city. Because when we generated the city resource, we added the dash dash view flag to create also the view page. Now, if you prefer this one, okay, if you like the same as we have in the state, with the model, we can do that also. So let's copy this method, and I'm going to open now the city resource, and I'm going to paste it right here. Now we need to import this, uh, also the section from the info list, and the text entry. Now here I'm going to say city 
info. The city has the relation with the state, so I'm going to display the state name and let's say state name here and for this one city name. Okay, now if I save and go to the city, I refresh, click view, here is the city info with state name and city name and as I said if you don't want the page but you want a model here we have get pages and we have the view which is going to navigate the pages view city and pass in the record if I comment this and refresh save view and it's going to open this model for us now it's up to you let's copy the method and navigate also on the country the same thing after the table method I'm going to create this import the info list import the section from the filament info list and also the text entry and here let's say country info we're going to display the name of the country and let's or just let's say name here and uh, remove this one I'm going to also display the code and let's say country code here and let's display also the phone code and let's say let's say phone code like this let's go to the country a refresh as you can see we don't have a view here and that's it because on the counter resource if we scroll up when we have uh, actions on the table we have only the edit action but I'm going to add also the view action and let's save this and now refresh we have also the view here and if I click we have the country info with name country code and phone code good let's close and let's copy the info list method let's open the department now and for the department the same thing paste that in import the info list import the section from the filament info list and also import the text entry now here let's say department so let's remove this one here now for the name let's remove also here because it's the same name I don't want to display the phone code on the department but the employees count so employees count and how to do that if you go to the documentation we have the calculated state and here is the example so I'm going to copy this and paste it right here okay import the model and instead of float I'm going to return an integer so return a record employees and here we need to call the count let's save and let's come here and refresh uh, first let's go to the department refresh as you can see on Laravel we have one on the employee count if I view yeah employees count one and the same if you don't want to see the page a refresh on view and now you can see a model okay so I think we are good with the system management let's go to the employees and also change this one because it's uh, like this so let's open let's copy the info list method and let's navigate on the employee resource here we have a table and I'm going to paste 
this one now. Import the info list, import the section, and import import the section from the info list and the text entry. Remove this. Now what we want to display here, not department, but is employees employee info. We need to display the and let's go country state ID city ID and department. So let's display first the country name like this and let's copy for state name, city name and department name. Okay, so country state city and department. Okay, then we need to display the username. So first I'm going to say a relationship, what we have also in here. So section make for the relationship, then create another section. And this is going to be with uh, two columns. This one is going to be the name and it's going to be with uh, three columns. Okay, so what we have here, three columns. So we need the first name, last name, and middle name. And let's do that, let's say, first underscore name, middle name, and last name. I remove this one. Then we have the user address and dates. So let's copy this one again and paste it right here. This is going to be the address. And we need to display the address and the zip code. So let's say here, address and also zip code and remove this one is going to be two columns and let's say let's navigate back to employees refresh if i click the view now we have relationship name and address and the same if you don't like the view page go back to employees now and refresh and we have something like this. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video to update the view page for all the resources. Now, if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one.